We're going to explore the use of RGB split and merge nodes. Let's take a moment to consider the fact that camera sensors are colourblind. Sensors only distinguish the intensity of light reaching them through the lens. They use filters to separate the light into three colour channels known as RGB. RGB being red, green and blue. The data from the sensor is interpreted as a grey scale image where each pixel is given a value within the range of 0 to 255 for each channel. The values indicate how much red, green and blue is within a particular pixel. The following tables show how different colours are represented by nothing more than the combined pixel values. Colour space is a term used to denote a system for describing colour numerically. There are a number of such colour models, but at the moment we will consider only the RGB model. We are going to look at how we can use the RGB split and RGB combine nodes. But we are not trying to create a particular effect, rather we shall explore some of the ways in which we can use these nodes in our own effects. The composite image shows the original image to the top left and the RGB split in the form of grayscale images for each channel. Note the tonal variations between the grayscale images. However, once combined, all the information is contained in the grayscale image data to produce a coloured image. Example 1. Drag the RGB split and RGB merge nodes from the Channels tab into the Effect Workspace or Canvas and connect as shown. The Effect input shows the original image. The RGB split outputs show the red, green and blue channels. Note, in each case each output is actually in grey scale. When we examine the inputs to the RGB merge node in respect of the way we have made the connections, you can easily see the three distinct channels ready to be merged. When merged, the output to the RGB merge node shows the result, exactly the same as the original. Well that might have seemed like a waste of time, but what if we swapped channels prior to merging? Let's observe the new results that can be achieved. What has happened is that we have tricked the RGB merge node by altering the channels so that when, for example, we swap the red channel into either the green or blue channels, the RGB merge node interprets the data as coming from the swapped colour channel. Example 2. New setup using the rotation node from the transition tab. Set the red channel rotation to 1. Set the green channel rotation to 2. Leave the blue channel rotation at 0. Typical pseudo 3D effect. Let's play a little by altering the rotation values. Remember that we have not really been trying to create effects, but rather simply show possibilities. What we have looked at so far can be incorporated into much more complex effects. Example 3. We shall assume that you know where to find the necessary nodes. Here is a much more complex use of the RGB split node without using the RGB merge node. Our aim is to create a fuzzy, arty image with a hint of colour. Here is an explanation of the thinking used in this new effect structure, once again offered as a stimulus to your own effect designs.
If we highlight the first part of our structure, indeed the start point, we can see that we are using RGB split, quantizer and two merge nodes. We are using the quantizer node in a very simple way, using it to convert the original image into a white on grey image which is then merged with the grey scale output from the red channel using the colour dodge merge mode to produce the given result. The quantizer node is usually applied for image segmentation purposes within an effect design and allows tweaks to up to 8 image segments. We now merge the green channel data with the previous merge using the difference merge mode to produce the new result. If we highlight the second part of our design element, we can see that we are now using the direction finder node, Gaussian blur, and another two merge nodes. The aim of this part is to create a fuzzy version of the original image to merge with the result from part one. The Direction Finder node finds vertical and horizontal lines in the image and gives it a sense of depth. Horizontal lines are drawn from the shadows in the image, whereas the vertical lines come from the highlights. Taking the lower output from the Direction Finder, we further process it using the now familiar effect element, that is, using the Gaussian Blur node in conjunction with a Merge node to give a desired result. In this instance, the merge is taking place between the now altered result from the lower output from the Direct Finder node and the unaltered result from the same output. When we now merge the top output from the Direction Finder node with our previous merge, we get a pretty fuzzy image which remains in grey scale. At this point, we merge the results from part 1 and part 2 of our designs as shown using a multiple merge mode. Quite an amazing transition, but the image remains in grey scale. To add colour to our process, we are now merging the output result we have achieved so far with that of the original image. Now observe the possibilities that arise as we scroll through the different merge modes. We have just scrolled through the different modes at 100% opacity, but remember, if you alter opacity the results differ for each blend. Once again, observe. So hopefully you have gained an insight into using RGB split and RGB merge nodes. There are other tricks not discussed here that will appear in future videos, for example swapping between colour systems. In the meantime, good luck and have fun.